I would say that my career, or that I sensed that my career was launched when I got my record deal. I was ready to finally spread my wings. I wanted to do it worldwide, that was my goal. So getting an international recording contract was a moment. Yeah, even though there was a long way to go, but that's when I felt it. My mother was my greatest advisor all through till I became, well, till she died. Um, and I was still a young adult at that time. I think the best thing that she did for me was push me past my limits. It's okay to go past your comfort zone a little bit and maybe even a lot and to trust in the people that are caring about you. I think that the accessibility makes a lot of things easier. Uh, you have a more immediate exposure. So you don't have to work as hard to get exposed, but um, the, crit the immediate criticism can be hard. So the new generation coming up has to have really big shoulders to cope with that. The list is very long. Do you mind if I give you a few? Anne Murray. I'd lie Dan Murray. I wanted to know where she lived. I wanted to know what street. I live in Newton-John. The two male vocal idols were Stevie Wonder and Glenn Campbell. Gladys Knight, my favorite. I loved groups too. I loved the Carpenters and uh, the Mamas and the Papas and the Bee Gees. I love all the people that she loves. Don't miss the launch premiering tonight at 9 p.m. on CTV. That's our show for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Tomorrow, Amanda Forrest reveals how to refresh your home this year.